Hey there, it's Mark from A Healthy Leaf, and today we're going to be reviewing eight different Moringa capsules, including the capsules I sell on the website, ahealthyleaf.com. And I wanted to disclose that to you just so there's no surprises. But even though I have a product in this review, I still wanted to share this review with you because I think this information is important and I couldn't find it anywhere else online. And as people learn more and more about Moringa and the benefits of Moringa, I think it's really important for people to educate themselves on Moringa so they can make good choices and know exactly what they're buying when they buy Moringa products. So here was my methodology. I imagined I was hearing about Moringa for the first time. And like a lot of people, I went to Amazon.com and I typed in Moringa capsules. They're really the easiest and simplest way to incorporate Moringa into your life. So I typed in Moringa capsules and I got a long list of search results. And out of those results, I purchased seven high-ranking products that had at least a hundred reviews that were between four and five stars. And so you're looking at a lineup of high selling products from Amazon that look really attractive to potential buyers. But what exactly are these products? And you're going to be surprised when we compare them today that there is a lot of variation right here. Some of these products have additives, some are organic, some are vegan, some aren't even Moringa leaf powder at all and they're grown in countries from India to Ecuador. And when we finish this review, I want you to know it's in these products and I want you to know how to buy Moringa products that are exactly what you're looking for. Well, let's start the review in the middle of the pack with a company called Lean Nutraceuticals. They have a nice green label, but in fact, the powder is very much brown. It's actually not Moringa leaf powder at all, it's a Moringa leaf extract. So they've taken dried powder and put it in solution with alcohol. And they've left it for some period of time. And that alcohol is to dissolve everything out of the powder except for the insoluble fiber. Now the resulting liquid extract is then been dehydrated till only a dry matter remains. That dry matter has been re-powderized uh, and to it is added magnesium stearate and silicone dioxide. These are listed as other ingredients on the back of the bottle. Those two other ingredients are called flow agents and they're like lubricants for the powder. They allow the powder to be put into capsules faster which results in a cheaper process. It's important to note the powder from these capsules is not USDA certified organic and although the bottle or website doesn't say I did contact the company and the trees the powders from are grown in India. One thing I want to point out the back of the bottle says that this is a four to one extract. A lot of companies selling extracts will claim that their product is more concentrated in this case four times more concentrated than just a standard leaf powder. That simply is not the case. The four to one extract means this. It means it took four pounds of raw material to make one pound of extract. It has nothing to do with how potent or nutritious that extract is. It purely is a ratio of the raw material that was consumed in producing one pound of extract. At each point in a process, there are losses. Not only that, but this extract, as I pointed out, has been diluted with the flow agents. And we're not sure what ratio of flow agents to extract are in these capsules. And so it would be foolish to think that these are more concentrated and therefore more powerful than a regular Moringa leaf powder. And so that's a little bit about extracts. Now Lean Nutraceuticals isn't the only company that makes a Moringa leaf extract here. We also have a company called Nutra for Health. Their product is also a Moringa leaf extract and their capsule, very similar to Lean Nutraceuticals, is a light brown. Additionally, Reborn Labs makes a Moringa leaf extract 
And they are, in fact, the only uh, Moringa capsules that we have here that are not certified or that are not vegan. The other capsules, I'll use uh, vegetable cellulose, but Reborn Labs uses a gelatin and so is not vegan. But all three of these products are very similar. They all have flow agents added. They're all a leaf extract, not simply a leaf powder. Well, the next capsules we'll review are from a company called Organic India. And these capsules are actually a pure dried leaf powder, but you'll notice the color on these is far more brown than it is a vibrant green. And this really comes down to the processing that the leaves underwent. When the leaves were dried, if they're exposed to sunlight or if the drying process takes longer, uh, allowing the leaves to be oxidized more by the air, both the sunlight and that oxidation process can change the color from a vibrant green into a brown or a real dull green. And as the color changes, the nutrient retention of that powder also decreases. And so it's important to find a powder that's a vibrant green color. Uh, that being said, these capsules from Organic India don't have any additives and they are certified organic. But they're not USDA certified organic, they're certified organic from an agency out of India. Uh, one thing to note, on the back of these bottles it says this product contains a chemical known to the state of California to cause birth defects or other reproductive harm. I went to the website to learn just what that meant and here's what I found out. The state of California sets a lead toxicity level of half a part per million or half a ppm for products. If your company has over 10 employees and the product has over half a ppm of lead heavy metal toxicity then to comply you must put this warning label on your product. So Organic India states that their product is clean and their lead toxicity is lower than international and most country standards. However, California in specific has a very low threshold on lead toxicity and so to comply with California they had to put this label on. I don't know what their heavy metal toxicity is but I know it is at least above a half a ppm hence the label. Of course Organic India's product is a product of India and these are in a vegetable capsule. The next capsules are Organic Veda. These capsules are a really vibrant, nice green color. And these have no additives, are in a vegetable capsule as well. Uh, one thing that was a little disappointing, the ad on Amazon for these capsules showed a USDA certification seal on the bottle. When I ordered, no such seal exists. I'm not sure what's happened recently, but something has caused this company to lose their organic status, or at least these capsules don't have it on them. Our next product is from Only Natural. These Moringa capsules are again a Moringa leaf powder, not an extract, uh, but they do have an additive. Both magnesium stearite and silica are added to these capsules as a flow agent. Uh, this is also a product of India. It is not USDA certified organic, uh, but they are veggie capsules. Perfectly Natural Herbs uh, makes these capsules. Again, these are a, back to a vibrant green color. Looks really nice. And these capsules don't have any additives either. They do state they're made of organic Moringa powder, but there's no certification anywhere on the labeling. Uh, these are also product of India and veggie capsules. And finally, these capsules are from a healthy leaf. Like perfectly natural herbs, they are a nice vibrant green color. And these capsules are USDA certified organic as well as certified vegan. And these capsules, unlike the rest that we have reviewed, are from Ecuador. So that's a little bit of an overview on these capsules and you can see just from these eight products there's a large variation under the name Moringa capsules. 
So a couple of takeaways. One, I want you to realize the difference between Moringa leaf powder and a Moringa leaf extract. And I hope you've seen the difference. Um, additionally, don't fall into the marketing hype that Moringa extracts are more concentrated. We've also talked a little bit about how the processing of a product can really influence its color and how that is also correlated to the nutrient retention that a product has. In general, we want to be looking for a vibrant green powder. And we need to be aware that heavy metal toxicity is a real issue. We don't want to be taking something we think is helpful for our body and in fact be harming our body. So reach out to the company before you purchase products from them. Ask them if they do heavy metal toxicity testing and ask them for the results. And finally, you don't need to buy products that are USDA certified organic. But if you don't know the grower and their practices, don't assume they follow organic guidelines. In fact, it's very possible that they use chemical fertilizers and pesticides on their trees. And you want the benefits of Moringa. You don't want to be exposed in your body to more environmental toxins. Well, I hope you've noticed I've tried to be as unbiased as possible in this review. So I'm going to take the last minute to promote. I think this is an incredible product and incredible value. Grown in virgin farmland in Ecuador, the leaves are dried in a temperature controlled drying facility, keeping them out of the sun, minimizing their oxidation. It's USDA certified organic and certified vegan and the heavy metal testing is as low as you can get, 0.001 to 0.0001 parts per million. This is a very pure product. That being said, I don't want to limit you to this product. I want you to go take what you've learned, find the products you want, ask questions, and buy good quality Moringa. Until next time, thanks for watching.